Hi friends, Stacy Robertson with this week's Tea Market Tea of the Week. Boy, have we got a beauty for you this week. This one is so much fun. We've had a great time uh, making drinks for people at Tea Bar and doing, if you look at our Instagram account, you know on the socials, Facebook and Instagram, we are Tea Market KC. So if you wanna see crazy drinks we're making, that's a good place to look. But this one is called KC Summer and it is absolutely beautiful. When you look at that, it has, it's a blend of our Yin Hao Jasmine green tea with butterfly pea flowers. And I'm gonna get some steeping and I'm gonna tell you a whole lot more about that. So I'm gonna use our little simple brew pitcher. We love this little uh, teapot so much and it's really wonderful for teas that are such beautiful colors when they steep. So we love this for a lot of herbals and a lot of the ones that, and especially you'll see why with this one. So this is a super fluffy tea. When we talk about how much tea we're gonna use, we always talk about examining the tea and seeing if it is dense or fluffy. And this one is very, very fluffy. So I'm gonna use two great big heaping spoonfuls if not even just a little tiny bit more for this because those butterfly pea flowers, they just don't weigh anything. So it takes more in volume so that we can get the right intensity of flavor that we're looking for. All right, so then I'm going to, since whenever you have a, let's see, whenever you have a blended uh, tea product blend like this, you want to use the water temperature that's correct for the tea. For example, if you're just making an herbal on its own, you could use boiling water. But because the Yin Hao Jasmine in this is green tea, you really wanna stick with that 160 degree water temperature. Because if you steeped it for the water temperature for the herbal, you're going to make the tea that's inside bitter. So whenever you have one that's blended, you wanna use the water temperature that's right for the tea not the herb. And so we are going to use 160 degree water from our beautiful Capresso Cosmopolitan kettle. You can already see that blue color coming out. Isn't that just wild? The first time I saw it, I couldn't even believe it. I just think it's so awesome. Okay, so we are going to let that steep for three minutes and I'm going to tell you all kinds of more wonderful things about it. First of all, the Yin Hao Jasmine is a green tea, and so it is full of antioxidants. It has that great immune uh, boost and support that we're looking for from green tea, so it's terrific for that. And then, you know, the jasmine is kind of more of an aroma than it is a taste, and so it really gives it that beautiful, heady jasmine fragrance. Oh, I wish we had smell-o-vision because it really does smell wonderful. So we go ahead and steep that. And then the interesting thing about the butterfly pea flowers is that they have health benefits all their own. They're known to be mood enhancing and can actually help reduce uh, anxiety. So that's pretty cool, right? Who couldn't use a little bit of that right now? And so I think that this would be a perfect tea for our, look at this great color, celebrating our boys in blue this summer. How about that? That's kind of how it got its name. There's a little more to it than that. And uh, maybe I'll write about that one day, but uh, that's when we got this. That's why one of the reasons why we named it KC Summer to celebrate our boys in blue. So if you are having some people over and you're watching a baseball game at your house, you can brew this up hot or cold. You know, baseball season, it can be chilly or it can be warm, just depends. And this is delicious either way that you go. So we're gonna steep it for three minutes and then the other thing that I want to show you um, this is a time when you can really I think if you're homeschooling kids uh, to get a little KC summer and do a little experiment would be lots of fun because one of the things that you can do is if you add citrus to it you change the pH balance and change the color so I'm gonna make a little lemonade with this tea and show you how you can do that so I'm gonna go ahead and steep it hot of course with our simple brew teapot the infusing portion is in the lid. We just push that down so that it can drain as we pour. And I'm gonna use boiling water and make a simple syrup. So if you like to sweeten iced teas, um, you know, if you've ever been to a restaurant at lunchtime, you hear people clanking that spoon inside that glass, trying to stir sugar into iced tea. Sugar doesn't melt in cold things. It'll just hang around there in suspension. So if you really want it to melt and become part of it, you need to make a simple syrup. And that's as simple as just getting the amount of sugar that you'd like, and then pouring hot water, boiling water is best. It'll melt it fast enough. Just pouring some of that right over. And then I like to just swirl it around until it melts. 
And that's all there is to making a simple syrup. I think that's why they call it simple syrup. What do you think? All right. We have got another 18 seconds to go on this beautiful, I just can't believe how intense this color gets. Sometimes you look at colors and you think, wow, you know, how could something that vibrant just occur naturally in nature like that? Really, really beautiful. Okay, so here I just have a glass of ice, and of course you can just pour this in your cup and enjoy it hot, but I wanna show you something fun. So I'm gonna pour this over to make our lemonade. I'm gonna get our simple syrup in there so that it's not sour from the lemonade. And here comes the magic, a little bit of lemon juice. Look at that, can you see that? It is just turning a beautiful, I don't know, kind of hot pink, I think. Boy, that is pretty. Stir it around. So from our beautiful Casey Summer Blue Hot Tea, we have made a purple Casey Summer Lemonade. I gotta see how this tastes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so Yin Hao Jasmine has a little bit of a grassy vegetal edge to it, and the butterfly pea flowers, boy, they really smooth that out, round it out. And the other thing is, don't forget, it puts the caffeine content to half of what the green tea would be. So this, this whole glass, this whole little pot is going to have less than half the caffeine of a Hershey's Kiss. So how about that? Won't you give KC Summer a try? And I'll see you next week with our Tea of the Week.